hello so today i want to talk to you guys about um vlogmas this is another vlogmas video and just wanted to talk to you about what you do um that is biting off more than can chew during the advent season preparing for christmas because i think we all do it we all have something that we just want to do so much of and then it gets to about december 18th or 20th or 22nd and we're like I'm so busy. How is it already almost Christmas? So, um, one for me thing for me this year was Vlogmas, of course. And I knew going into it, like, oh, it's gonna get real busy trying to do a video every day. But I enjoy it, and it's like a hobby. So, um, that's one thing. Usually for me, I if I wait too long, Christmas cards, baking. Baking's a big one for me, and I love baking. And I want to make. I'm like, oh, I'll make cookies. And then I'm like, well, I'll make sugar cookies, obviously, and gingerbread, and then chocolate chip. And then I'd also like to do a puff pastry. And then I'd also like, and it just keeps going and going and going. And like, wouldn't it be good to have some like, you know, banana bread, or I'd love to have cinnamon rolls one morning. And so it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And so for me, I know that's one of the things that I overcommit and I bite off more than I can chew. The other thing is commitments of things I want to do with my kids and visiting people. This is a different year because of COVID, but normally I'm like, yeah, let's get together. And like, I'd love to see you. Okay, let's plan on the 18th. Okay, and then I talk to somebody else. Let's plan on the 20th. Oh, let's have a play date on the 21st. Oh, let's get together on the 17th. I just want with holiday parties and with holiday events and with everything you can do and go to see lights and go see Santa, it just gets more and more and more. So the two things where I know I overcommit, bite off more than you chew are baking and um, physically going and doing things with people because I love visiting people during the holidays. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. Love just like stopping by. Um, for you, it may be gifts. Um, if you love gift giving, you know, you end up being like, oh, I'd like to get something for him. Oh, and I'd like to get something for, you know, my coworker. Oh, and I'd like to do this and I'd like to do that. And it ends up being, it towards the end, something that is makes you more stressed out and becomes a chore. Um, which I'm like, how do we kind of cut that off before it becomes something that isn't bringing us joy anymore, that is bringing us stress, okay? So, um, and for me, that means being organized about it and making a realistic plan. So today on my calendar, I put, you know, because what happens is I end up doing all these fun Christmas things and things that I really want to get done before Christmas and I get stressed out because I need to clean my kitchen and my bathrooms and it's not done or the laundry's piling up because I am wrapping gifts for, you know, everybody on my street or <laughs> like, you know, something I'm making cookies, another batch of cookies. Um, and, and, and then I'm getting frustrated because I am running to the grocery store at the last minute or I'm, you know, don't have time to get the laundry done. I'm up late, you know, cleaning the bathrooms and whatever. Um, and so I'm not getting my regular stuff done and then I get stressed out because of that. So it's not necessarily the Christmas stuff that stresses me out. It's the fact that I'm up late and I can't get my regular stuff done. So um, for me, I like to look at how many days are left in the month or the whole month of December. For me right now, I looked at it today and said, okay, um, looked at my husband's work schedule. Okay, this today or tomorrow, we are going to take the kids and we're gonna walk around um, where they have all the lights in our town. So they have uh, a neighborhood that does goes all out and it's beautiful, you know, they have the music, they have the lights at every house. And so we're gonna go, we're gonna do that, put it on the calendar. Okay, next week we are going to do this with the kids. So I planned, you know, next Wednesday, I'm going to do gingerbread with my daughter. Like that's what we're doing. Um, next Friday, I'm going to do this. Okay, so I actually wrote it down um, and then I also, <laughs> I have to trick myself. I act, I treat myself like I'm a child sometimes. So this morning, um, I wanted to start on the Christmas cards and I'm like, they need to get in the mail and need to get started on them. And I said, okay, no, we just came back from a camping trip. I need to, I, I need to get everything out of the camper and I need to clean the kitchen and get the laundry started. So I'm gonna take an hour and a half and I'm gonna clean, which took more than an hour and a half, of course, it always does. And I got the kitchen clean I got the laundry going out of three loads. We got two already, you know, already in the, in the washer dryer, we're moving on it. Um, and I got everything out of the camper. So I was like, I'm gonna do that first. And then when that's done, I'm gonna start on the Christmas stuff. And so I, I do reward myself. It's like, I have to drink a bottle of water before I can have my Diet Coke in the morning. 
it's the same thing you, I do with what I would say if I were a child, but it works for me. So I get my stuff done first because then I know I'm not going to be stressed out tonight. Um, I can work on Christmas cards when the kids go to bed or I just feel a lot personally, I feel a lot more relaxed when I have the one or two things that I am like, this must be done today. Um, you know, maybe I need to be online and pay my bills or maybe I need to run errands, maybe do whatever. I'm going to take an hour and do that first or two hours and do that first, clean the bathrooms. And then I'm going to sit down and wrap presents and put on Christmas music or watch a movie while I'm wrapping presents. And then I can enjoy myself more. So my tips would be what works for me personally is to actually write down what I'm committing myself to and be aware of that so that it doesn't get to December 22nd and I am feeling overwhelmed and not enjoying the Christmas season. Um, instead of preparing my heart for the coming of Christ, I am stressed out about things that don't mean as much and I should not be as worried about. So um, I put on the calendar, even buying gifts for people, even if you're doing online shopping, okay, I'm putting down next Monday in the evening when the kids go to bed at night, I'm spending two hours online shopping to get all the rest of the shopping done. Put it, I write it down so I can physically see on the calendar, on a printout of December, what I'm doing each day. And then I know, and I can fill the other days with the stuff that just needs to get done around the house or whatever. Um, and if I'm ahead of schedule, I can do something ahead of schedule, but it helps me to kind of pace myself and not cram everything in at the end. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is to kind of get the other, get the stuff you don't want to do out of the way first so that you can enjoy yourself with the things that you really do enjoy. Cause I do enjoy baking, but it gets stressful when in the back of my head, I'm thinking about how I'm not going to have time to get the laundry done today. Or, you know, I, I, I haven't spent any time like playing with my kids today. Instead, they're watching TV while I'm baking, you know, and that's not like, then they're more grouchy and I feel guilty because they watch TV all day. And then they're more grouchy because they were watching screen time. You know, they had screen time instead of time playing. Um, and so I try and do the things that I, that need to be done for me to be peaceful first. And then on, after that, do the fun Christmas, fun stuff that I do really enjoy, but don't want to get stressful at the end. Um, I also try not to plan, and this may sound crazy, I try not to plan anything after December 23rd. So the 23rd and the 24th, I don't plan anything. Um, I try to have all my grocery shopping done. I try and have the baking I can have done unless it's something, you know, I'm bringing to someone's house or breaking actually the Christmas meal. Um, I try and have everything done with visiting people, um, besides who I'm going to see on Christmas day, if we have a family get together or something, but everything gifts wrapped, everything done by the 22nd. So the 23rd and the 24th, I have time because you know, something's going to come up first of all. And if it doesn't, then I have time to watch a Christmas movie with my kids or go see the lights again or go to the park or whatever. But I have... <clears throat> extra time to get anything done that I might not have had time for and also just to soak it all in just to sit by your Christmas tree with a cup of hot cocoa you know so that is another thing that I try and do to help with not getting stressed out so I hope those tips helped if you have ways that you for that you um, use things that are helpful for you um, to not get stressed out then comment below I'd love to hear them also think about it what is the ways that you generally bite off more than you can chew. Is it doing things, activities? Is it gifts that you're giving to people? Is it baking? What is it that during this season you end up always taking on more and then it somehow gets, you know, it's usually something you're passionate about that you really enjoy, but we take on more than we should and it ends up being more stressful um, instead of bringing us joy like we think it will. <laughs> All right, that's it. So I'll see you tomorrow for another Vlogmas and I hope you are having a great Advent and Christmas time. And that's it. Have a merry day. Bye.